Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, teacher, I can hear you. Carolina, can you hear me? Claudia? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Eduardo, can you hear me? Okay. Good. Can you hear me now? Yes. Sir. Yes. All right. Good. Now, yes. Everything is fine. Okay. So we have. Okay, Ricardo, Mauricio, Claudia, Carolina, Diego. Hello. Hi, Ricardo. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. I'm fine. It's, uh, uh, I am trying to to improve my English with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Nice. That's the attitude. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Hey, Eduardo. How are you? Hey, what is Eduardo? Eduardo, how are you today? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, Eduardo, Eduardo can, I guess. Okay, good. Carolina, how are you today? Hello, Carolina. Hello. Okay, good. Can you hear me? Nice. Yes. Yeah. Now. Now, yes. Okay, good. All right, good. Uh, Mauricio, are you there? Yes, I am here. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Now, we'll see. Okay, good. This is what we're going to start today with a uh, lesson objective. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about the, the simple task, right? And then today we said that we're going to practice with the past tense using the verb to be, right? And you were going to speak, or we were going to talk about a famous person, okay? Or a person that you admire. Okay, so then uh, first you're going to to watch this video, and then after we're going to have some oral practice. Okay, using the the structure that they suggest in the video. Okay, just let me check and let me share the computer sound. There we go. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China, I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in, let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule and that's the verb to be. So let me, uh, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept. And that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it, 
The verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use a pronoun he, and I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronouns. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like we were born in Argentina. Um, you were born in Argentina. They were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So. In order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Argentina, okay, and then what I want to say is, I also want to do a negative thing, so I want to say, I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning um, and what I want to do at this time I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red and I would like to color uh, the verb in green and then the complement. I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject, we can change that to any subject that we would like. For example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Um, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So, for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and, of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this. Uh, he wasn't born in, Ar in China. Right? I was born in Argentina. I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change this subject, now we use you, so therefore we're going to have to use the verb to be where, and in our negative statements that will be weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina, and of course we can say you, and this will be in its negative form. So this will be you weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born? And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will tell me something like, I was born in Brazil. And obviously, because you were born in Brazil, you weren't born in Argentina. So your statement could be, I was born in Brazil. I wasn't born in Argentina. Um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world, so maybe your statement could be, I was born in China. I wasn't born in Japan. And perhaps your parents were born in France. So my parents were born in France. And I want you to make a negative statement with that. So they weren't born in, let's say, Spain. Okay, good. So then those are the examples that we have. And now we have also this one, right? Okay. So then um, let's go back to the, to the structure, right? We have that in the past tense, the verb to be has two forms, right? Which forms are those? Was and where. Was and where, correct, right? So was in past tense substitute is and am, right? And where is the past tense of am. Then we use the subjects I, he, she, it, with was. And then the plural ones and the second person you, 
they, we, we. and you, uh -huh. then that is for where, okay? Where? Those are the where? ones, okay. Where? So then that's one when in the video when they were talking about the, where the people were born, for example, they say, I was born, can you see this uh, map? Yes? Okay. So I was born in Norway. That's a primitive sentence. I was born in Norway. I wasn't born in Sweden. So affirmative and negative, right? I, I was born. I was born in Berlin. I wasn't born in Luxembourg. Okay. My parents were born in Ukraine. Okay, they, my parents, it's plural, my parents were born in Ukraine. They were not, or they weren't, born in Austria. All right? So this is using, for example, the place where you were born, using was and where. Okay, any questions in the comments? No uh -huh. no, okay, good. So then, for example, you can say, um, my sister was born in the United Kingdom. Okay. She wasn't born in Germany. Okay. Then you can say, uh, my best friend uh, was born in Italy. He wasn't born in Poland. Okay, so then here you have some choices, okay, of places where you were born. Okay, now please look at the map and choose a place where you were born and say the place where you were not born. Okay, one affirmative and one negative. Okay. Okay? Good. Who's ready? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Say it. I was I was born in El Salvador. Okay. I wasn't born in Guatemala. Okay, I was born in El Salvador. I wasn't born in Guatemala. Okay, another one. Okay, let's see. Carlos Alvarenga, tell me a sentence. Affirmative and negative. Carlos, can you hear me? No. Okay, then uh, Carolina. My sister, my sister was born in Costa Rica. Okay. In the negative? And I was born in Costa Rica. Okay, I wasn't born in Costa Rica. Two people, right? My teacher was born in Costa Rica and I wasn't born in Costa Rica. Okay, good. Uh, Eric? Hi, good night, everybody. Okay, good night, good evening. Okay, Eric, tell us a sentence, affirmative and negative. A place using born. I was born, they were born. Mm, my mom, uh was born in Zacatecoluca. Okay. Now using wasn't or weren't? Uh, give me an example, please. For example, you can say uh, my parents, or yes, my friends weren't born in Italy. Okay, okay. My, my brothers uh, were born in Oloquilta. In Oloquilta, right? So they weren't born in San Salvador, right? Okay. Okay, good. Affirmative, they were born in Oloquilta. Negative, they weren't born in San Salvador. Okay, okay so that's okay. the idea, right? So you can see this map and uh, find the different places. Hey, Gio, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good. Okay, Gio. I, where can, see, I can see the map. You can't? No. 
the rest you of the can't class. See the map. You we can't either. Can no. Nope. Yes. Uh, okay. Do you see the map? I don't see the map. You can see the map too, teacher. Okay. Let me see then. Let's find a solution to that. <laughs> can you see it now? Now. No, yes. yes. Oh, yes. And now I see it. <laughs> you see it? Yes. Okay, so yes. that's, that's magic technology. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right, so then this is the map, okay, that yeah. you can practice with, okay. And for example, uh, you can use this one. I was born, I was born in London. Okay, I wasn't born in Manchester. Okay, so here you, here you can dream, okay, you can dream. Okay. For example, imagine because I have blue eyes, my blue eyes, okay. So I was I was born in Ukraine, okay. I was born in See my, my hair is yellow, right? White skin. Okay. This this is this is a wig. Okay, this is a wig. Not peluca, right? It's a wig. So then uh, but my original hair is blonde. Okay. My eyes my eyes are blue, okay. But in El Salvador, you know, I have to, I have to move with a low profile, okay? <laughs> okay so you can, here we can invent, right? So then, for example, okay. uh, where were you born, Gio? Uh, choose a country on this map. Okay. Um, I was born in Norway. I was I, born? Wow, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wasn't born in Finland. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Ricardo? Okay, I was born on train. I wasn't born in Moscow. In Moscow, right? Oh. Hey, but, but you look like if you were Russian, you look like from Moscow. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay Eduardo. Okay, Eduardo is having problems with the microphone, I guess. Okay, Ronnie. Hi. How are you, Ronnie? Hi, and you? Okay, fine. Good to see you. Hey, hey thanks. Thanks for asking. Okay, good. Where hey. were you born? I born in Kingdom. I, I wasn't was, born. In I was I Iceland. Was, repeat the first one. I, I was, was born. I was born Kingdom. United uh, Kingdom. United Kingdom. Kingdom. Okay. I wasn't born born in Iceland. Okay, in Iceland. Okay, good. It's very, very hot here, right? No. <laughs> the very opposite. Cold, very cold. Very cold. Right? Cold. Very very cold. cold. Okay, Jorge, George hey. Mendoza. Okay. Good evening. Uh -huh. Okay, I was born in Germany. Uh -huh. I was born in Oslo. Okay, I was born in Oslo, right? Okay, very good. Veronica. I was born in Germany. I wasn't born in Romania. In Romania. Okay, very good. Uh, Diego Marino. All right. Uh, you were born in Ukraine. Okay. You weren't born. You weren't born in France. Thank you very much. This is another, uh, using another pronoun, right? You were born, you were not born. You, you were born. born. Yes, right. excellent. You were born, Thank you were. You. Very good. Uh, Xiomara is here. Hey, Xiomara. Hi. How are you? Long time no see. <laughs> um, I was born in France. Okay. Near near Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. In Paris, in Paris, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, very good. Ne near the Eiffel Tower, okay. Obviously, you weren't born in Italy. Okay, good. Marcella, what is the country of your preference? Mm. Sweden? <laughs> okay, then I was? I was born in Sweden. Okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> Open-minded people, open-minded people. Good. <laughs> Claudia, how about you? What country do you prefer? Claudia? 
No, no, Claudia. Okay, and who else is missing? Carolina? You told me yours. Mauricio? Okay, good. Then Eric is here running. You say what? Carlos? Carlos Alvarenga, can you tell me what's your country? Hello. I am here. Yes, Carlos, tell me, what country would you choose? Where were you born? Uh, Sweden. Sweden, okay. Sentence, I was? I was born, was born in Sweden. In Sweden, right? I was born in Sweden. What about your, I, your wife? Where was she born? My wife was born in Finland. In? Finland. Oh, Finland. Finland? Okay, very good. Finland. What yeah. about your children? Where were your children born? My children were born in Sweden, too. In Sweden, too. Okay, in your country. Okay, very yes. good. William? All right. Um, I was born in Hawaii. Okay. I was born in Berlin. Okay, very good. Okay, I think that you have the concept clear, right? About the use of was, where, and I just want you to take a look at this. Can you see the presentation? Yes. yes. Okay, good. This is just to refresh your memory a little bit, right? This is what, what we studied last night, okay? So where we have the simple present, the simple present here, and the simple past. Remember yesterday I told you that uh, it is important to know the tenses, right? But the structure is, is important. But more important than that is how and when we use the tenses. For example, when do we use the simple present? Okay, uh, George Mendoza, can you please read this explanation here? Okay, is it meaning? Yes. Okay, in general, the simple present expresses elements or situation that is it always, usually, uh, habitually. Habitually, habitually, they exist. Now, had existed in the past and they probably will visit when it is it in the future. In the future, okay. For example, when you say it snows in Alaska, we use present, right? Probably, probably in this moment is not snowing in Alaska, okay? But it's a condition that exists in the existed in the past, exists probably now and probably in the future, okay? If, for example, in El Salvador, we can say, it snows in El Salvador, is it correct? It's incorrect. Uh -huh, because here, never snows, right? No. So then, but in, in Alaska, if there is a moment in the year that snows a lot, okay? Tom watches television every day, okay? So yesterday, he watched TV, today, he is watching TV and tomorrow he will probably watch TV. Okay, so then we say, okay, Tom watches television every day. Okay? And then the second one. Uh, we have Eduardo. Can you read this one? Okay, good. Oh, I know. Yesenia is here. Hello, Hi. Yesenia. How are you? Hi. Okay. I am doing good. Good. Yesenia, can you do me a favor? Can you read this one? Okay. At one particular time in the past, this happened. It began and ended in the past. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. If you see, this is a simple present action that happened in the past, present, and might continue in the future. The simple past is a moment. One particular time in the past, yesterday, this happened. It began and ended in the past, right? Last night, after class, I watched a movie. 
Okay, what was the specific time? After class. What did I do? I watched a movie, correct, okay, simple class. And then you have the simple future, but this is, we will see the simple future in more or less two more sections. Okay, this is the pronunciation. Okay, remember the pronunciation of the past tense, regular verb? There are three different kinds of pronunciation, right? The T, the D, and the it. It, 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 right? For example, your final EV has three different pronunciations, T, D, and it. For example, you have looked, clapped, missed, watched, finished, okay? And laugh. I exaggerate. I exaggerate a little bit for you to listen to the last. All right. But if you okay. see, for example, the, <coughs> say final ed is pronounced t after voiceless sound. What is a voiceless sound? For example, the end of the word. Uh -huh, the letter k. The letter k sounds like there is no vibration in your vocal cords. They say, look, 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 look. And look, then you can say, look, look, look. It's easy to say, look, okay? Look. And the other case, if you see the smelled, it would be because the letter L, 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 uh, sounds a vibration here. L. L. There is a vibration in your core, right? L. And then you say, smelled. Smelled. Okay. Smelled. Good. Then the other one is save. 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 And then you have cleaned. 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 Robbed. Robbed. And then we have played. 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 And the last one, if you see this ones, are the the, word, the verbs that finish with the e d s d e sound. Decide. Decided. Extra syllable. Decide. Decided. Is an extra syllable. Decided. Uh -huh. Need. Needed. Needed. Need it. Extra syllable. Needed. Needed. Need. Only one. Only one syllable. Needed. Two syllables. Needed. Uh -huh. Okay. Want. Want. Wanted. 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 Invite. 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 Good. So then we have want, wanted. If you see, for example, the sound D, the sound D, the sound T, T, need the extra syllable. Decided. Needed. Wanted. Okay. Uh, invited. Okay, those are the ones. And here's the explanation. Three different pronunciations. T, D, and O. And then there are some examples here. These are, there is a list. I'll show it to you later. Okay. There are some questions here. Okay. These are the ones that you're going to practice. Okay, in this moment. With your, I'm going, let's see, we have 18 people. I think we can have uh, six groups of three. And you can practice this question. Look at the different verbs. Bring, bring, forget, take, touch, drive, lose, uh, mislay. Uh, this is when you put your book in a different place, right? Mislay. Uh -huh. the, the, the pass was mislay. Uh-huh, yes. Laid, L-A-I-D. 
ID. Yes. It's irregular. Yes. It's yeah. an irregular verb, yes. Find, understand, mm. understand is understood. Okay, remember that yeah, find. Yeah. Find is found, understand, understood. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Spread, spread. Yeah, Let me. Okay, we're gonna have six groups of three. Please uh, accept the uh, invitation and get into the group to practice these questions. And I will visit you in the group so that we can, if you have questions, we can ask you. Okay? We're gonna have okay. like five or six minutes of practice. Okay? Okay, okay. So, let's do it. <clears throat> Okay, there you have your invitation. Yes. <coughs> Hello, Alberto. Hi. Okay. Okay, practice with a question, right? You can ask, for example, uh, turns, Carolina, you can ask, so, did you drink some coffee in the glass? Uh, did you drink, you can practice other vocabulary, right? Did you drink some uh, soda before class? Milk. Okay. Uh, did you bring your books to class? Okay. Any question that you want? Okay. And practice other vocabulary. No questions? No, no questions. Okay. Okay. So then practice it. Okay. We'll start with the practice. Carolina. Ladies, I, ladies, ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, teacher, uh, I, I, we, uh, we don't know where, where the, the conversation is, try to, to do the the read the sentences or, or, or ask about the in the in the in the past tense i don't know yes ask for example you can use all these questions for example uh say ricardo did you drink uh let's say for example some uh, coffee before class or for example did you bring your car to work uh, yes. did you for did you forget your wallet you can change right some of this vocabulary uh, yeah. and practice more words and then the person is going to answer, right? For example, uh, did you shake your head? Okay, did you shake your uh, your milk? Okay, you say yes, I did or no, I didn't. Okay, for example, did you catch the bus this morning? They say no, I didn't. I took my car to work. Okay. Ah uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, Carlos okay. Uh, Mauricio. Okay. Do practice. <laughs> Let yeah. You. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay come uh, on. For example, 
the teacher, the, te the teacher uh, uh, was explained that uh, the, the use uh, the, the did or uh, when you when you are when you is you are using to the to the question and and and, and this form you choose to the use did but when you use in in simple pass uh, don't use did it it's uh, uh, we 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 need to use to the uh, a bear and for example uh, uh, watch is in present and watch is, is in past mm -hmm. uh, for example I, I i question to you uh, did you watch tv uh, last night Yes, I did. I watched TV last night. Well, I watched TV last night. Okay, yes, good. Last night. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, other, other example. Did, did, did you drink? Uh, did you drink a, a, a cup of coffee before this class? Yeah, I I drank a cup of coffee in this class. All right. Okay. Uh, what about Mauricio Torres? What about you? About the the the. Did you? Mauricio is. Mauricio is doing this conversation. Yes, yes, uh, uh, yes. I am here. I am hearing. We we are we are three person and the teacher in this yes, moment. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay, excellent. Okay, yes, my, Mauricio. My, my, my camera is disabled right now, but I can hear you. No problem. Okay. Just your voice okay. is important. Yes. Uh, Another question: the, um, Did you read the the class topic uh, last night? Yes, I about the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot, but not just in papers uh, or news. I think everybody here is uh, know about the coronavirus about uh, from the re social media. I yeah. think everybody's talking about that. Uh, yes. Talking about it, yes. Mm. It's a, a panic, I think. So. <laughs> yes, it is. What about teacher? <laughs> what do you think about coronavirus? Well, I think uh, it must be good, you know, if you're talking about the corona only, not the virus. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're right. Ah, yeah. But it's that, not Friday yet. <laughs> yeah, not Friday yet. That's. No, I think it's, uh, you know, if you don't have the conditions in a country like El Salvador to, to fight against that virus, it can be dangerous, right? But I think that if you, if you take your personal care, you know, with the washing your hands, not to, not to expose yourself where people are sick, I think it's, you can handle it. How do you say, how do you say to sir? Sorry? Excuse me? Cough. Cough, 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 cough. Teacher, how do you say use the mask? Are you? I mean, you have to use a mask. Uh -huh. Use a, a mask. mask. Yes, yes. yes, in my work is an uh, obligation. It's an yes, because it's a uh, use it's, a mask. It's for your protection. It's more for everyone. Uh -huh. It's for your protection and for the other people's yeah. protection. Yeah. Exactly. But it's not comfortable. But oh yes, yeah, especially it's now. But I do. <laughs> very um it's very um hot too right and then when you yeah. are breathing breathing and all that stuff is it's uncomfortable but it's, it's uncomfortable. necessary especially if you use uh, a glasses <laughs> uh -huh. yes for example uh have you been to another country in these days Visit no. another country. Have you have you visited another country? Oh. No. 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 Okay. Thanks God, no. Thank God, no. Okay. I now didn't. If, you, if you go to France, if you go to a country where they have the coronavirus, then you have to stay there for one month or two months in a quarantine, right? Because they don't let you go out until you are they are sure that you don't have the virus. Okay. So I will I will go to France and I can stay there one month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. okay, guys, continue practicing, right? Okay, good. Okay, okay. okay. questions? Okay. All right. Big Hello. wave. Teacher, 
how Hello. do you say uh, granola in English? Granola. Mm -hmm. That's the which is the granola? Let me see. It's maybe cereal. cereal. Huh? Mm. Maybe cereal, I guess. Cereal is different. Oh. Yes, but I think there is one word. But let me check. Um, I don't remember if there is. So there is one for wheat. Big wave. <laughs> no, but it's not big wave. Mm. I think it's something different. Yes, but food makes very greens, nuts, and dry fruit. She had a, no, granola is the same. She had a bowl of granola with yogurt for breakfast. Granola is, Gran the, a granola is the mix of nuts, uh, nueces, uh, dry fruit, like pasas, right? Dry fruit. Mm -hmm. Usually eaten in the morning. So it's the same, uh, it's the same word, granola, right? Granola. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I ate granola okay. with yogurt. Yogurt. Okay. This, this, this morning. Okay. That's delicious. That's delicious. You know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's very. Don't, it's just, don't you feel it? It's very. Uh -huh, yes, it's very nutritious. And but it's very yes. sweet, right? Very sweet. Yeah. Mm, yes. No. No. My yogurt is uh ¿Cómo se dice griego saber? No sé. Uh, Greek. Grace. Grace. Grace saber. Ah, delicious. Oh well, yes. Mm -hmm. In that case, yes, because the granola and the and the yogurt are both very mm -hmm. good. Okay, so but it's Amara, a delicious yogurt. Amara, it's very healthy. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> she's a nutritionist. Yes. She's a she's a trainer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she she, yes, she goes she jogging, she runs, she goes to the gym, uh, she swims, she, I don't know. She knows I, I asked <laughs> I asked her uh, she did exercise today and she said mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> you you always you always go jogging, eh, Tamara? Huh? You still you, you go jogging, running. <laughs> every day. Ah yes. 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 Um, How many kilometers? No, Five. no run, but I do exercise in the gym. Ah, okay. Today. Today. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Very good. It's, Sometimes it's I I run, cardio. but today, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I do exercise in the gym. Okay. Uh, now use past tense verbs. Okay. Continue practicing, and in two three minutes we will go back to the main session. Okay. 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 Any four question. Okay. Okay. Osube. Hello, hello. Yes. Yeah. Also, uh, this question is for you. Did you write a letter to your family? Yes, I did. Uh, compliment. Um, maybe. Uh, no, I, I. Only that. <laughs> yes, I did. Nice. Okay. Very good. Are there any questions, guys? Yes, yes, sir. When when we ask in, in third person, um, can we use uh, does always the structure to make the question? In past when tense, we ask in third person. Third yes, person. Sir. In past tense, is always did. Okay. For example, did. Uh -huh. did your brother did your brother, did your brother go right. to school today? Did he? Did he play yesterday? Did your sister call you? Did she all tell? Right. Did, you, did she tell you the truth? Always oh, in past tense is very easy because all of them are did. Okay. All right. In, in present, you have to use do or does, right? But in past tense, it's only did. Did I go? Did you go? Did he go? Did she go? Did it go? Did we go? Did they go? All of them. Is the same and the past tense of the verbs is also very easy because you only use one verb i went you went he went she went it went they went we went in present right. you, you have to use two right i work she works 
Okay. Good. Okay. Well, keep on practicing Thank one you. more minute and we will go back to the main session. Okay. All right. No, I didn't. I, I'm okay. Yeah. Puedo decir I'm okay. Porque estoy diciendo que no me herí cuando me caí. No, no mm -hmm. I didn't. I'm okay. That's mm -hmm. correct. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I ah, didn't. Y en, y en pasado, cabal, es que estaba no, pensando no, I didn't. que no había abandonado. I survived. <laughs> no, yes, I was checking. <laughs> I was checking the other groups. No, this is the last one. Okay, good. Y uh -huh. si es, yes. Y si es con yes, es yes, I... ¿Cuál era? I yes, mm -hmm. I. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. um, what is the question? No, no, en negativo. No, I didn't. Exactly. What is the question? Uh, did, did you, you hurt, hurt yourself, yourself okay. when, when you, you fell? fell? Uh -huh. Did you hurt yourself when you fell? You say, no, I didn't. Okay? Or, yes, I did. No, Pero I didn't. Si Si yes. yo pongo, yes, I did, entonces digo, yes, I did, I hurt uh, myself when I felt. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pero si digo con no, es no, I didn't. Pero si quiero usar el verbo en pasado, o sea, para, para ver el pasado, entonces sería, yes, I, no, no, I didn't. I don't, I don't hurt. No, I did not because you said it already. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, you if you want to give, for example, um, a long answer, if it is uh -huh. a, only if it is affirmative, you are going to use the verb in past tense. Mm -hmm. For example, did you did you hurt yourself when you fell? Uh, yes, I hurt myself badly. Okay. Oh yes, mm -hmm. I, I I hurt myself, but thank God, it was not serious. Okay, mm -hmm. or yes, I hurt myself, but uh, but I'm okay. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. I hurt myself, but I will survive. Okay, so then this is, you know, for example, the what I will live. Then these are examples of how to use it. The, the short answer is when you say yes, I did or no, I didn't. Okay, but that depends on how much information you want to give about yourself. For example, mm -hmm. suppose I said, uh, uh, "Did you go to the? Did you go out on the weekend? Did you go, go out, out no. on the weekend? Mm -hmm. Yes, I. Uh, yes, I. I went to the beach. Okay, this is because you know Yesenia wants to give. Okay, yes, I went to the beach, but if she doesn't want to give information to a person that." Probably she doesn't know very well. He said, no, no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I didn't. I stayed home. I stayed home. Stayed home. home. Okay. Mm -hmm. or, or, mm -hmm. or you say, oh, yes, I did. Actually, I went to the beach and I enjoyed a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I mm -hmm. ate a lot of seafood. Okay. I mm -hmm. suntanned, suntanned myself. Okay. So you can give more information and using sentences in the past, okay? So you can use your, your I mean, your, uh, all the information that you have about the trip, okay? For example, mm -hmm. if I say, what did you eat? What did you eat for breakfast this morning? Um, I ate uh, eggs and okay. beans. Okay, I ate eggs and beans. And I also prepared some fried bananas. Okay. And mm -hmm. I and I didn't finish my breakfast. Okay. Because I had to go to work. Okay, then you see you are using verbs in past tense with long sentences, no only short sentences. Okay. So uh, remember that. The, okay. There are some specific rules, but we don't have to speak according to the book. Okay, you can be flexible and explain your your feelings too, right? Okay, 
For example, what is another okay. question? What is another question that you have in the, let's say, for example, okay, did you wear, let me see, did you, okay, did you swear? Look at the 20, question 21. Did you swear to tell the truth? When, when you went to the, when you went to the court, okay, mm -hmm. and you were the witness, did you swear to tell the truth? Mm -hmm. Yes, swear. Swear is I promise. Pura. I promise to uh, tell the truth. Uh, Ask me a question. Uh -huh. I promise I will tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. I swear. Okay, you have the Bible. Okay, your hand on the Bible. Okay. 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 Good. Okay, did you swear? But to teacher, uh -huh. in this example, uh, we have two verbs, mm -hmm. right? Swear and tell. Exactly. Uh, both of the, these verbs uh, we use in past, the two of you. No. Two. Only mm, the verb. Only swear. Which one is the principal verb? Swear. Swear, uh huh. Okay, the second one is after two. Mm -hmm. For example, I like to play. Which one is the, the main verb? Ah, okay. Okay, I this like, is the past tense. I, like. I, for example, mm -hmm. I liked to play basketball when I was in the school. I liked. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. uh, Marcela, did you like Okay, did you like to play uh, soccer when you were in the school? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. I like I to liked, play I liked, soccer. Liked. Uh -huh. play. I liked play to soccer. Play. To play soccer. Uh, to play. Uh -huh. to I like to play soccer. Uh -huh. So you can mm -hmm. use the two verbs, but only the first one is the past tense. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, yes. you're welcome. Now let's go back to the main session. Okay. 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 See you in a couple. Thank of you, days. Yesenia. Yes. Hello, teacher. <laughs> hey, where is the teacher? The teacher is here. Hey, here I am. Hello, hello. I'm back. Can you hear me? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. Good. yes. All right. Good. You, it took a little longer the practice, but I guess you know it was good because there were a lot of questions. Now, uh, some some of the group asked me some questions. Ask me some questions. Okay. Now, do you have, have any questions question. in this moment? Uh -huh. Yeah, I have a question about about bird, I guess. In the in the in the image, the seven and the eight. What is the difference? Did you lose your book or did you mislay your book? Ah, okay. For example, mislay is for example if you. Uh, I usually I usually put my book. Uh, on the table, but today I don't remember where I put it. It's, it's in the house. It's in the house, but in another mm. place. It's like this place. Okay. Mm. And loose is this morning. I took my book to the office, but mm. when I went to the office, I didn't have the book. The now book I come. I come back to my lit. house, and the book is not here. So mm. the book disappeared. I have to buy another one. So that is oh. loose. Did you lose your book? Yes, I did. I did. I lost my book. Okay. 
something when you bring a book another classmate <laughs> you lose <laughs> Okay, you example, never bring again. You never, you never give it back. But your, uh -huh. your classmate, you lose. <laughs> no, you lose a friend because your, your, the friend is not going to talk to you anymore. Okay. You lose, you and lose you, both you, them. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> you lose the book and your friend. Okay. The book okay. and your friend. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, you know, if you take a book and you don't return it, you can easily lose your friend. Mm. Okay, so that's the difference, yeah. right? Lose a misplaced. Okay, this place is, is somewhere. You will find it if you look for it. Okay. okay? That, that usually happens, right? It usually happens that we put things in one place in another, and then because we have many things in our head, and then... Okay, any other question? No. No? Okay. Nope. Now, we're going to play a game, okay? We have like three, four minutes to play a game. Okay, uh, you are going to ask me one question each, okay? So I can see that we are in this moment 18. Okay. Well, uh, ask one question, but listen to this. Listen to instructions. In this moment, my name is Luis, you know, right? My name is Luis Avellan, but in this moment, I am not Luis Avellan anymore. Okay. I am okay. another person. And you have three minutes to find and discover my new name. Okay. It can be a. Uh, uh, famous person, it can be a, an artist, an actor, a player, I don't know. Okay, you have to find out. I can, okay. I can only say yes or no. Okay, only okay. then ask me only yes, no question. Okay. okay? For example, okay. you can say, uh, well, you can say, for example, are you alive? Are you dead? Uh, were you born in Italy? Were you born in Argentina? Okay, any questions? Yes, no questions. I would say yes, no. Pay attention to the questions and put two and two together. Okay, two and two together. So get the ideas and then try to figure out my new name. Okay, you got it? Okay. Yes. yes. One question. Okay, I will tell you the name. Ricardo, one question. Uh, did, did you uh, 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 are you a musician? No. Okay, Carolina. Carolina. We cannot hear Carolina. Okay, Eduardo. Eduardo, one question. One question. Yes. Um, Yes, no question. Where you did you? Uh, do you know other language? Do you okay? Did you know another language? No. Okay, Ronnie. Question. Uh, did you sing in public? Uh, no. No, William. Um, are you a singer? No. Okay, remember that uh, Ronnie said, did you sing in public? No. Okay, so then no singer. Okay, Jorge Mendoza. Did you born in El Salvador? Were you born? Were you born? No. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Gio. Um, are you an action character? Are you an action character? An action you, character? Yeah. No, I'm not. Like Rambo or something like that. Uh, <laughs> I, I wish I were. <laughs> okay. No, 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 I'm not. Well, uh, in the past, in the past, I was. In the very past, yes, I was somehow. In movie and in reality. Okay. Mm. Uh, Yesenia. Are you a man? Yes. Well, yes. Obviously. You only changed the name, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Eric, okay. next question. 
Are you an actor, actual, um, actually? Uh, a current, current actor? A current, sorry. No, no, it's in the past. Well, I will help you. I am, I am there. You do what? Uh, I dead. am dead. I am dead. Ah, there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where were you born? Huh? Where, where, where were you born? Oh, that's not that's not a yes no question, but I will help you. I was born. Are you Kobe Bryant? No, I was born in the United States. <laughs> uh, I was born in the United States. Well, yes. Huh? Stay. You born? You were born in the United States. Yes, I was born in the United States. You dead. You fell off a of a, a horse. I fell off a horse. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, you're. Are you? You're, you were. You uh, were. Were you? Because I'm dead. Okay. Okay. Were you? Um. Film. Superman. Yes. Yes, I was in a Superman movie. Oh, the for real. Yeah. For real. Christopher Christopher. Oh yes, that, you should look exactly the same, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So this is, you know, how you can practice about using the past and connecting ideas, right? Were you? Uh, were you? Did you? Okay. Did you act in a movie? Uh, were you an actor? Where were you born? Uh, for example, um, were you an action character? Okay, so you can use all this uh, vocabulary. Okay, any other question? Are you study other language? Did you study another language? Yes, I did. Yes. Where did you study? I studied, studied, but I didn't study. learn the French. Okay, it's very well. Yes, but it's kind of difficult to practice French, right? Nice. Yes, it's nice. Okay, good. Now let me see for tomorrow we have before we go before we go to bed. Well, don't forget to do the knowledge check, okay? And tomorrow we check it, right? We review. Okay. 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 So we will review it, and then we have the next one. So for tomorrow we have. Practice from intense questions with the bird uh, to be. So, um, more practice with the bird to be. Okay, guys. Teacher, I need the, I need the link the, for the uh, platform. For the platform? platform? Yes. Okay, let me. I don't have. Let me see if I. There is one link here. <laughs> Same the last, the last course. Uh huh. Uh huh. The last course. No, oh, I. You cannot answer. But I have the the the. Did the you lose your course. link? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I I have my link, but uh, when I enter, uh, only see the the last uh, model. Ah oh, yes, you said the last module. You only see the print uh, media. Uh, you yeah. you mm -hmm. don't. The tree. Okay, so, then let me look screen. for the let me look for the one that I have, and I'll send it to you. Okay. Okay. And then uh, because I don't know if it is the same. Okay, because I have the two in my mm -hmm. my platform. I can see the pre the previous and this one. Okay. okay. Uh, let, let, let me check the link, and I will send them to you. Okay, everyone. Okay. Uh, it was good Thank to see you. you again. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. Have sweet dreams. Have a good night too, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Okay.